supposed to. You want to? Let's go back Come on, baby. Forest and Logging Museum, and this is our Fairbanks Morris uh, three horsepower Model Z. And uh, just a few little interesting things about this. So these engines were very, very popular from the 1900s all the way to the 1940s. Uh, back in the days before you had electricity and electric motors to run machinery uh, on the farm, this is what you'd use. You'd split, use it for splitting firewood, pumping water, uh, threshing grain, whatever. Uh, on this particular engine, a lot of these engines, the early ones, they actually had the governor hitched up to the exhaust valve. And if the engine was uh, over speeding, it would actually hold the exhaust valve open so you wouldn't have any compression. That's why they call it hit or miss. The intake valve is what we call automatic or atmospheric. You can see that there's no rocker assembly. What happens is, is on the intake stroke, the piston creates a suction, it opens that valve, and then it closes for the, in for the compression stroke. And of course our carburetor, it's uh, set up so we have uh, this side over here, we put fuel in to prime it. And this is the valve we use to control it. Once we've run a couple tanks of fuel through it and we've got it warmed up, then we can use this side over here and we can draw from the tank that's down underneath and we can use either gasoline or kerosene. You can see here the governor mechanism, there's actually a butterfly valve in here. So if the engine is going to over speed, it'll actually close this or it'll open it as needed because you want a constant RPM, you want constant power. And you can run a sawmill, all kinds of cool things with it. The only thing is with these engines, they're extremely uh, reliable, uh, very, very foolproof, uh, just very heavy. <laughs>